hello hello and welcome back to this channel thank you for tuning in it's been a while i've missed you i know but we're here today and today i'll be teaching you how to make this v neck um neckline it's the one that overlaps so you see these a lot in scrubs you know the uniforms that the medical personnel um wear i'll put up a a, a picture here or here and then um you know exactly what i'm talking about it's also in the thumbnail it's a very very easy tutorial so by the end of this um video or the end of this tutorial you should be able to make your own you can put it on any on any piece really i've seen it on shift dresses you can put it on your blouse or on your shirt or wherever you think it might look well so stay tuned and watch until the end of this tutorial and remember to subscribe if you find this um content helpful to you i'll see you in our next video let's get into our tutorial all right so let us go into the tutorial so today we'll be learning how to make a v neckline so this is a kind of v that kind of crosses over at the front so this is your center front okay so what you need for the tutorial you need your your basic bodies if you don't know how to draft one you can check out my channel i've done i think two two tutorials on how to a detailed uh, tutorial on how to make uh, and and draft a bodice block okay so i won't be showing you how to do that in this tutorial so you need your basic block you need two strips you need your chalk you need your scissors and a ruler okay so this is very very easy at the end of this tutorial i expect you to be able to make this beautiful um, um kind of necklines okay so here I have my body's block and um, I forgot to mention you also will be needing your measuring tape okay let me just get mine okay you'll be needing your measuring tape of course to do your measurements so here this is just a sample I'm not making it for anybody I just use them um, my mannequin measurements just to show you how this is done okay so you are going to measure the the depth of how you want your your v to be okay you can use seven to eight inches so for this one since it's just the measurement of a mannequin and my mannequin is a small size i'm going to use five inches uh five and a half inches deep okay so this will be the depth i hope you can see this so i'll just fold it in half i think it's easier I hope you can see this let me get a chalk that will be more visible okay so we're going to measure the depth of your v how how deep do you want it so mine is five and a half inches so obviously like i said it's a v neckline so we are going to be creating our v but we're not going to cut it like a sharp v you have to create some space here so i'm going to leave half inch okay and it's on fold so meaning when you unfold it it will be one inch okay so now then you create your your v coming to join that line okay i'm just going to do that very quickly with my ruler let me put this here okay so you connect it to that half inch mark okay i hope you can see it unfortunately this chalk color is similar to to the main fabric so you have something like this and then you're going to cut off this way okay so let's just do that very quickly so first you cut off this half inch that you have created like this okay and then you cut off all the way up to your neckline okay so you have something like this and when you open it up this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like okay 
so now you need to create the the straps this is on forward and it's about one and quarter one and quarter okay so it's on forward you can put fusing if you want it to be more stable but this is just an illustration for you to see how this is going to be done okay so we have it's one and quarter on forward and here i have about nine inches i hope you can see that it's about nine inches let me remove this one so that you can see okay so you have two straps of about this is about eight and a half the other one is nine inches length but doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting off the excess okay we're going to be cutting off the excess so this is about one and one quarter okay make sure that your strips are longer than what you have cut for your for your depth of your neckline okay so you can see i have this excess i will be cutting off what i don't need but you'd rather have enough than less okay so what we are going to be doing is once you have made that measurement and you've done your cut you must come down half inch okay half inch from the the depth that you marked so that you know where you're going to stop the sewing so here i'm just going to draw a line so that when i go to the sewing machine i know exactly where i'm stopping okay i'm just gonna draw this across i hope you can see it okay so what is going to happen is we are going to go to our machine now okay we are going to go to our machine this is the right side of the fabric or of your garment okay you are going to place your straps like this and we are going to sew um, i i left quarter inch here so i'll be sewing with quarter inch from the top all the way to this mark the half inch mark after the the cutting okay this is where we stopped with our v then you are going to stitch up to the half inch mark okay we're going to do the same thing you place it that way and we're going to stitch with quarter inch all the way to this half inch mark okay so i'm going to go to the machine and show you how that is done and then we'll come back and continue all right so you can see that i've gone on to pin the two pieces so that they're not shifting when i'm sewing and i'm going to be sewing now at a quarter inch and when i reach where the, the where the cut ends i'm going to continue stitching to this half inch mark remember after reaching the the depth cutting the depth out that we chose um we decided to just extend about half inch you can see so i'm going to continue stitching until this half inch mark and i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm going to stitch all the way up to where we marked the half inch point okay so when you are making yours please make sure that you are using a um, okay just want to put it in focus when you are making yours make sure that you are stitching with a matching thread okay i'm using a contrasting thread so that you can see clearly what i'm doing okay so we're just going to go in and i'll be stitching at quarter inch okay so you're just going to use a normal straight stitch and you're going to stitch at quarter inch okay And you're going to be taking out the pins as you go okay and if you're able to stitch without using the, the pins it's fine okay so just careful and we're going to stitch all the way to the quarter inch mark 
you can do your back stitch in. okay and then we're going to do the same to the other side as well okay remember to back stitch there Make sure you don't pass that half inch mark that we extended. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so this is what we have. Let me just cut off the threads. Okay, so we have something like this after stitching, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to flip it to the other side. Okay, we're going to flip it to the other side. Let me just remove the excess threads. Sorry guys, just ignore that noise. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so here, I hope you can see clearly. Let me bring it closer. So you can see this is where we've stopped. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to snip, okay? To that point, but not beyond, okay? This is just so it can be easy for us to, to flip. And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm just cutting this main fabric. I'm not cutting the strip and I'm not going past that half inch mark. Okay. It's going to help us flip the, the two strips that we have attached. Okay. So you have something like this. Okay. And what we're going to do now is just to flip back. And we're going to... By the way, so this is where now you would use your, your sedger or you could use a zigzag stitch to finish off the edges, okay? Maybe let me do a zigzag stitch. If you don't have, if you don't have um, a sedger, this is something that you could do to finish off the edges. Alright, so if you don't have a sedger, you can finish off your your garments using a, a zigzag stitch so i'm just going to quickly do this here for those who who might not have a serge so you just um put the settings on your zigzag stitch on the machine so you have to check and confirm um the settings of your machine okay. careful as you approach the the edge there okay so you have something like that you can check out the stitches the zigzag stitches that you have on your machine and uh, you do the same you do the same on the other side because you this fabric as you can see it frays it frays quite a lot So we're going to go ahead and do the same. Okay, so we've gone on to lock the edges. If you've got a serger, you can use that okay so we have 
something like this okay so the next thing is just to flip this over this way okay flip it over this way do you see and this one is also going to flip over this way okay and now we have these tabs remember we left this this piece when we cut it we left this piece here so this is what is going to help us this piece i hope you can see okay so when you flip it you can cross it whichever way i don't know which side you want it to cross but you can just allow it to to cross over each other okay you can allow it to cross over each other let me zoom in so that you can see better okay so bring it here to the wrong side remember there's this piece here i'm just going to clip it just a little bit okay okay so you you can either do this way and allow the other one to cross on top or whichever way whichever way you feel like okay so it will lie like this here and then you will have something like this at the front side this piece should be inside there just take it on the inside okay so this is how it will look like on the right side so come to okay so i was just explaining <laughs> i was in the middle of explaining something and then my camera just fell okay so i was saying when you flip it to the wrong side and you have the tabs crossed whether it's this way or whichever way you want it to cross just make sure that this piece that we cut out this one that it's on the inside okay so let's use okay i want the longer one to be on top okay so what we are going to do now is we are just going to lift these pieces we're going to hold this envelope tab that we created after we snipped okay and we are going to stitch just a straight stitch from one corner to the end in order to secure it and attach it securely to the to the straps and to the to the bodies okay so i'm just going to do that very quickly uh, i have to put the settings back to a straight stitch make sure that they are lying nicely and properly okay so i'm just going to put this here okay so we are going to stitch down this tab this piece to the straps so that it's permanently attached to the straps okay so we're just going to go ahead and put a, a straight stitch there and secure it. Okay, so we have secured the strap to 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 the to the main piece. Okay, so the next thing is just to trim off the excess if you have a serger again this is where you would use it i'm just going to use a zigzag stitch here in order to lock the edges so that it doesn't fray especially if you're working with fabric that frays okay so here i'm just going to place my stitch on a zigzag stitch put the length and width that i want so you have to check out your machine and see the settings for your zigzag stitch okay so this is what we have Okay, so we've gone on to to lock that stitch we've attached the 
this the, this main piece to our straps and then now we're going to do what we're going to flip it to the right side and just see how it looks like i'm just moving the machine out of the way so that we can see how our v neckline looks like there we go okay so this is what it looks like okay the next thing is just to iron and uh, for some okay so the next thing is just going to be to press it yes this is a very soft fabric i'm just going to use something on top to iron it going to iron it so that it lies nicely and crosses nicely okay There we have our V. I'm going to put it on the mannequin so that we can see how it looks like. Okay. So I just want to make sure that it's lying very nicely. Okay. So the next thing is, I'm just going to switch off this. The next thing is we're just going to put it on the mannequin and see how it fits. Okay. okay so this is our our v we've created and uh, we went on to overlock with our um, machine just a zigzag stitch if you have an overlocker you can finish that off with your overlocker okay so this is how your v will look like i think it will look very beautiful on a shift dress or a blouse or anything really that you'd like to use it for the scrubs you see the like the, the uniforms that they use in hospitals they have this kind of V so this is how you go about um, making it and um, I hope that the tutorial has been helpful you can go ahead and create your own and share with us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Miranda's designs and creations so let me know if this tutorial was helpful to you okay i'll see you in our next tutorial bye